Night of the Living Dead emerged in 1968 as a groundbreaking horror film, capturing audiences with its gripping narrative and visceral thrills. Amidst the chilling tale of a zombie apocalypse, the movie grapples with societal themes, provoking discussions that endure to this day. Did you have a favorite character in this film, amongst its diverse roles? Or perhaps you're intrigued by lesser-known facts or anecdotes surrounding its creation, like the guerrilla-style filmmaking or the unique challenges faced during production. Intriguingly, despite its low budget, the movie became a cult classic, influencing the horror genre for decades. For instance, the decision to cast Dwayne Jones, an African-American actor, in a leading role during a time of racial tensions, added a significant layer of social commentary to the storyline. As we delve into the captivating world of Night of the Living Dead, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. It's always fascinating to hear different perspectives and connections people have with this iconic piece of cinema. What caught your attention the most in this film? Favorite scenes, characters, or the eerie atmosphere? We're all ears. In 1968, Georgia Romero unleashed a cinematic milestone, Night of the Living Dead, birthing the zombie horror genre. The film follows a disparate group trapped in a farmhouse amid a zombie apocalypse, struggling for survival. As tensions escalate within the besieged sanctuary, the undead threat looms large, testing the group's unity and resilience. Romero's stark black and white cinematography and gritty realism captivated audiences, as did its subversive social commentary, addressing societal tensions and human nature under duress. The characters, notably Ben, the resourceful and determined protagonist, embodied by Dwayne Jones, defied stereotypes of the time. The film's portrayal of an African-American hero was groundbreaking for its era. Notably, the movie lacked a typical Hollywood ending, instead delivering a bleak and ambiguous closure, amplifying its impact and controversy. Night of the Living Dead emerged as a cult classic, influencing generations of filmmakers and setting benchmarks for horror storytelling. Its guerrilla-style filmmaking and stark imagery injected a new vitality into the horror genre, shaping subsequent zombie narratives in films, TV shows, and literature. This seminal work reshaped popular culture, imprinting the zombie archetype firmly into the global imagination, etching its place in cinematic history. 200 extras were cast in the roles of townspeople and zombies for the movie. Their presence created a vivid, chaotic atmosphere, contributing to the film's eerie authenticity. The drive and era was winding down, but this film emerged as one of its final big hits, capturing audiences with its gripping storyline and raw, unsettling visuals. Interestingly, the movie's first scene, depicting the cemetery attack on Barbara and Johnny, was actually the last to be filmed. Shot in November 1967, the actors had to control their breath in the frosty air to avoid visible condensation. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the meticulous effort that went into crafting the iconic moments of this groundbreaking horror film, cementing its lasting impact on cinema. Bosco chocolate syrup became the unexpected ingredient that brought the gruesome blood in the movie to life. George Romero, the director, made this cost-effective choice to simulate blood, adding a chillingly realistic element to the film's horror. Interestingly, Romero saw little profit from the movie. His lack of knowledge about distribution deals resulted in the distributors walking away with most of the earnings, leaving Romero with meager returns for his groundbreaking work. Beyond the blood and profits, the movie faced technical hurdles. Shot on 35mm print but edited only on 16mm equipment, the crew had to transfer all footage to the smaller format for editing. Working under severe time and resource constraints, they rarely had the luxury of more than one take for any shot. John Russo, involved in the production, admitted they couldn't check the shots as they filmed, relying solely on Romero's expertise. Additionally, the sound was mixed without the advantage of seeing the corresponding picture, adding to the challenges faced during the production. These behind-the-scenes struggles and creative solutions shed light on the remarkable effort and ingenuity that went into crafting this influential film, solidifying its lasting impact on cinema. Pittsburgh police played a pivotal role in the making of the film. 
They provided both personnel and equipment, contributing to the authenticity of the scenes. Amidst the filming, an unexpected incident occurred involving Gary Strainer, who was meant to maintain continuity by reigniting a chair. In an unfortunate turn, his sleeve caught fire during this process. S. William Hinsman, adorned in full zombie makeup, heroically intervened, tackling Gary to the ground and aiding in extinguishing the flames. This act prevented a significant injury on set. Despite the generally pleasant shoot, Dwayne Jones, the protagonist, recalled an unpleasant moment when someone inadvertently smashed a moth, a stark contrast in an otherwise smooth experience. These behind-the-scenes occurrences shed light on the unforeseen challenges and moments of camaraderie during the making of the iconic film. The character of Ben took a significant turn when Dwayne Jones auditioned. Originally envisioned as a crude, unspecified truck driver, Jonas' performance shifted the character's portrayal. His erudite, serious nature led director Georgia Romero to rewrite the role, tailoring it to Jonas' demeanor. This transformation brought depth and resonance to the character, reshaping the dynamics of the film. Interestingly, much of the dialogue in the movie was improvised, adding an unscripted authenticity to the intense scenes. These behind-the-scenes insights reveal the organic evolution of the film's central character and the spontaneous nature of its dialogue, contributing to the movie's raw, gripping impact. Based on notable information, the film's original concept involved contemplating the most shocking action for zombislanding on cannibalism. This stark direction set the tone for the zombies' menacing portrayal, emphasizing their ghastly and relentless nature. Moreover, there are two known deleted scenes from the film. One was an explanatory eight-minute basement scene between characters Helen and Harry, cut at the insistence of distributor Walter Reed organization. Another was a wide shot of numerous zombies covering the landscape, later lost in a storage facility flood. The removal of these scenes altered the film's narrative, shaping the final portrayal of the zombie threat. Adding a personal touch to the film's legacy, Judith Ridley, one of the actors, retained her outfit from the movie. Repurposing the clothing, the pants became her painting attire, while the shirt found use as a dishrag, highlighting the lasting impact and memorabilia from the production. These lesser-known facts shed light on intriguing aspects behind the film's creation, offering insights into its conceptualization, editing decisions, and the personal connections its actors maintained with their on-set possessions, contributing to the enduring legacy of the movie. As the curtains fall on our exploration into the iconic film that captivated audiences decades ago, Night of the Living Dead stands as a timeless emblem of horror and cultural significance. Its eerie ambience and pioneering narrative continue to haunt the corridors of cinematic history, inviting introspection and discussion. Perhaps it's the chilling atmosphere that drew you in, the pulse-quickening moments that had you peeking through your fingers, or the profound impact this film had on the genre itself. Whatever it may be, Night of the Living Dead beckons us to ruminate on our own connection with its narrative, to delve into the nuances that resonated with us personally. This cinematic masterpiece, with its compelling storytelling, and thought-provoking themes often serves as a catalyst for spirited conversations and fond recollections. So, I encourage you, dear reader, to share your treasured thoughts, your cherished memories, or the profound impressions this film etched into your mind. Your unique perspective adds depth to the tapestry of Night of the Living Dead's enduring legacy. Whether it's a heart-pounding scene or a poignant moment, your voice enriches the collective appreciation for this timeless classic. Thank you for taking this journey into the realm of cinematic history with me. Your engagement and enthusiasm in exploring the depths of this iconic film are truly appreciated. 